right, I'm kind of going to talk about installing our light kit, which is uh, used to uh, keep your soda vending machines warm in the colder northern climates. Um, just before you do the installation or before you order the parts, probably a good idea to take a look at uh, how your machine is set up. Um, today down here we have a Dixie Narco P-Series. Uh, the way the power comes into this is uh, a newer system, a lot different than a lot of the older stack machines. Um, so just to kind of give you a couple tips, um, when you buy this stock, we're going to ship it to you. And uh, if you buy it as a kit, it's going to include a six foot power cord. And I guess the gut feeling is very often just to make it go quickly and easily, you would just plug this into a, an open outlet and then you would uh, connect your heater here. And you also have the option of uh, connecting your refrigeration system here. Um, in this case, there's a plug right here. Um, so rather than have to move the machine, um, we also offer like kind of a, uh, it's got a male and female plug and then it comes out to a female plug that will connect here. So it's definitely kind of worth looking at it. You might save a little bit of time. Um, if you don't want to take the time to go out and uh, look and see how your box is as a default, just going to an open outlet will always work. Um, so basically, here we have our controller. Um, you want to kind of give a little bit of consideration as to where you're going to mount it. Um, on this machine, um, especially because the plug is here and the cords are going to go out on the back, um, if you have a nice open area back here, uh, we recommend you mount this and it will have um, uh, some uh, very high, high bond tape. So in this case, you'll be able to mount it right here on the box. Um, things to take into consideration, you will no longer need the uh, thermostat if you elect to plug in your refrigeration system. So the nice thing about mounting it here is easy to run your new temperature probe. Um, if you are going to use this to control your cooling on this machine and your other machines, very typically on the refrigeration system, there'd be a two-prong plug like this. So we want to plug it in. The larger plug goes like this. Um, typically these refrigeration systems are not grounded. It will connect here. So if you're going to use this to control your cooling, that's fine. Uh, we do have some customers that actually uh, use this to control the cooling. In the case of this machine, uh, it's kind of nice. If you have a soda vending machine and you have issues where it's not turning on the refrigeration system, uh, you could have a def defective relay, defective temperature probe. The part of the control board that controls the refrigeration could be bad. So, I mean, this video is primar primarily for the heating but you could absolutely fix a machine if it has a, um, if it's computer controlled refrigeration system, this right here would basically bypass everything. Um, you would program your temperatures here and basically you're replacing a lot of questionable parts very inexpensively. Um, the fact that this is digitally controlled makes it very easy to uh, set your temperatures. So in this case, I am uh, hooking up the cooling system to that. And here we have the, uh, the outlet for the light bulb. So um, at this point you're almost complete so it really a total time to install this thing on location would be five minutes if you come prepared. Um, on this machine it's got like this plate kind of snaps out of place and I've kind of already done part of the removal and basically I want to keep the seal really close just so cold air doesn't come here but basically this power cord you know, make sure it doesn't get cut there'll be enough room for that here and then the temperature probe that's coming up from the controller uh, basically, this control, this right here is going to um, uh, be used for the heating and the cooling if both are selected. So basically, this is going to come up here, um, and then we're going to eventually this this piece will be replaced. That's kind of goes without saying. Uh, your temperature probe in this machine, it actually had a uh, this this is the temperature probe that was originally in here to uh, sense the cold. And what we would recommend is on this temperature probe right here. Uh, you kind of run the power cord along the way or you could run the new power cord because this will not be used and uh, with the tie strap just kind of put it right here as this is a good place to uh, to get the average temperature. Yep. Adding the screws and screwing the light bulbs in easy basically I'm just using like a small nail or a punch and I'm going to uh, put the bulb up here on this metal surface and I'm basically just going to mark where I want to make the hole for the top and the bottom you know where you can use a sharpie Basically, I want to create just a very small hole like this, and I, I just want to keep it. So I've, I've pierced the metal, and I want a really small hole so when I do the screws, it makes the threads. All right, so now I have my two holes where I marked them, and I'm going to go ahead and, uh, with the screws provided, attach the fixture.
Okay, so I got it going in now. And uh, you don't want to over tighten the screw and strip out the metal, but basically I'm kind of getting it to hold in place. And I'm going to put this grounding screw here under the screw. And I'm kind of not going to completely tighten it just so I can rotate it a bit to catch the next screw. And I can see the hole down here. There you go. So I got it now. I'm threading in. And you want to tighten but not over tighten. I'm kind of going to go over a quick review about uh, connecting our temperature controller. Um, the back of your machine, if you get lucky enough and your vending machine uh, is connected and you have an open outlet, it's as simple as just plugging in our controller. Um, when we send this out, we're actually sending this out with 14 gauge extension cords so that this could be mounted in your soda vending machine. Um, so if you're buying these parts individually, you know, we recommend that you have this long cord that goes into the back of your vending machine. Um, in the event you're at a vending location and perhaps this machine, this cord right here is going to a snack vending machine and there's one outlet which basically is going to power your vending machine. Um, we recommend you buy this splitter. This is also 14 gauge wire. So basically, you will plug this in, plug the vending machine into this, and plug our temperature controller in here. Um, and just for ease of installation, a lot of our customers will buy this strictly for heating. So in colder climates, they uh, put our light bulb assembly in and keep the machine so the uh, product doesn't freeze when it gets very cold outside. But because of the way this is built, um, we have this cooling option here and just because this is digital and we can turn it on and off and then you really don't ever need to uh, worry about the compressor coming on uh, within the soda vending machine. This is right here is where you would plug the refrigeration system. So uh, I guess in the previous part of this video I talked about installing this but just so far as how you want to connect things to the outlet. Um, we recommend you go straight from this to the wall outlet rather than cutting wires in your machine as this is uh, a lot quicker and it'll look a lot nicer. Um, on newer vending machines, they potentially have a power adapter where the power cord has this style connector on it uh, so it's not all in a single junction box. Uh, so basically there's a couple different styles, Dixie Narco and Vendo, uh, we know have this style connector. So with this adapter there's no need to run the extension cord behind the machine. So again, two different ways of uh, of supplying power and each of these kits has its own part number. This is the easiest one to install so if you have newer vending machines this is uh, recommended. Basically all that you're going to do is you will unplug this power cord uh, from the junction box. Uh, we're going to basically take and connect this cord. It slides in easy. Then the original cord from the wall outlet plugs into this adapter and so now you have this female three position and basically the, uh, the cord from our uh, timer kit that controls the uh, temperature will plug in here. Uh, the bulb is mounted up here and it's a very quick uh, on location installation uh, you know, getting the power from here. Hi, sir. Here's a quick overview of the two controllers we use with our heating and cooling system. Uh, this is a larger one. This has the ability to control heating and cooling and it has a little bit more temperature range. Um, with this one I can program and, and start at a much lower temperature for the heating and cooling system and it has the ability to control our refrigeration system up to 15 amps. Uh, so I'll talk about programming that. This is more of an economy model. Basically the heating system plugs in here. Um, if you decide to go with this system, uh, just know that the temperature the, at 40 degrees is the lowest it could be set. So your machine is always going to be heated to 40 degrees. So if you wanted to go below that, to 35, you're going to need to use this system that has a little bit more features. Um, so right now I'm going to kind of talk about what we're seeing. Uh, the room I'm standing in right now is 75.9 and what I'm going to call my baseline is 38 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so this first button here I'm going to press and hold this set button three seconds. Okay, so right here I'm basically going to set my baseline. Um, when, you, when this is delivered it will be set at 38 degrees. If you wanted to change this, again you press and hold this set button. And you can see while I was talking, it kind of reverts back. So if I press the up and down, I'm going to change this baseline. And so I'll explain that in the next step. So when you get this, it's set for 38 degrees. And I'm going to talk about the heating and cooling. You don't have to use both if you were only using this for heating or only for cooling. But if you set it up for both, it works. I'm going to press the set button again. So right now here, I have my heating differential, which is 4 degrees. 
So basically this is going to come on when it gets to 34 degrees and heat it to 38. And when it gets to 38 degrees, um, the heater will go off. So if you want it to be warmer, you need to kind of set that baseline at a higher temperature. So now I'm going to press and hold my set button again for three seconds. I'm here at my base, my heating. Here's my cooling differential. Again, I have this set, and when you receive it, it'll be four degrees. So basically at 38 degrees, this is going to come on um, when it gets four degrees above that. So it's going to come on at 42 degrees, and it's going to keep the compressor running until you get to 38. So I'm now at the set. Um, so I'm going to press this one more time. That's for an alarm. Uh, this P7 right here right now is showing 10. I can increase this or decrease this. Um, when you receive it, it's going to be set for 10. And this basically is just used for cooling systems and it's to help protect the refrigeration system. So the way this works is if it's a hot where the machine has just been opened, the compressor just turned off, it's going to not come back on for 10 seconds. So in other words, um, it, it's possible if you come to the machine and, the, and you, the compressor should be on and it's not, that it's basically in that safety mode. Um, and so right now, just to kind of give you an idea, the room I'm in is 76.2 and it should be cooling. So this little red indicator right here indicates that this device is cooling. In the event that um, it was within that 10 second frame and it was essentially giving the compressor uh, time for the head pressure to decrease, this right here would be blinking. So basically, uh, you know, really nothing you could do, just you're going to use the set and the up and down um, to set this, but when it's delivered to you, it will be set at the 38 degrees. All right, and uh, here's basically a, a bit of a smaller unit. It works perfectly fine if all you're doing is adding the uh, heating mechanism to your machine. Uh, basically, right now, the room I'm standing in is uh, 76.6 degrees. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is press and hold this set button. Okay, so now this display is blinking, and I have the option of going up and down. Basically, I'm going to push and hold this right here so you can see the temperature is decrementing. Um, when you receive this, it's going to be set to 40 degrees. So right here, this is essentially what we recommend because you're heating. So at 40 degrees, so um, right now, it's going to come on at 40 degrees or below and basically heat your machine. And when it gets to 40 degrees, the heating element will turn off. So basically, right now, the room I'm in is 76.6 degrees, so this LED will not come on. Um, in the event that I set it to come on at 80 degrees and it was 76, it would come on. But again, this one is very easy to program. You just kind of press the set and hold it. Um, the lowest temperature it could go to is 40, which is how it will be set. Basically, you know, either way you buy our kits, these are preset, so you should be able to just plug them in and uh, have your uh, heating system installed within minutes.